What is up? I'm Moana Turtle coming at you with another Pokemon opening. Today we have another episode of Goodbye or Pass. And we're going to be taking a look at new products as they come out and kind of like figure out is this really worth your money. Today we have the new Galar and Friends mini tins. This is the third version of these tins. And let's just take a look at what they include. So we got, let me let this focus. So we got two packs and that's gonna be the big question is what packs they are. A metallic coin that feels an awful lot like plastic and a cool little tin as well as the picture. So here's like the picture. I will say, I kinda like the older ones. I felt like there's a lot more overlap between the pictures, but you know, it's pretty cool. We got a lot of the new Pokemon. The cards, the kinda like the picture, the, because of the shape of the tin, a lot of times they get damaged, but if you do want to keep them in good shape, actually a card saver one is actually perfect for it, but as you kind of see like right here, the, the corners are often nicked just because they're not in anything and they're just in these rounded corners. For the tins themselves, you know, not as useful as like ETBs, but the best thing I found, I think uh, someone just in a comment one time, to basically put your dice, so whenever I go to league or whatever, this is how I bring my dice and stuff. Yes, you can fit cards in there, but I don't know. I don't think it's big enough to be really a useful form of storage for cards. So we're going to get into this, open up all five, and the biggest thing is going to be what packs are in there. If there is like a sword and shield, then, you know, maybe this is a worthwhile product. If it's two things that are not in standard and it's not like burning shadows or something cool like that, then this is probably going to be a solid pass the first one did have burning shadows which was great and then the second one I think uh, didn't and if you find yourself struggling to open these uh, after some struggling there is a kind of like preparation on the back so that's how we should be doing it trying to cut trying to cut it on the side a little bit so these things play these things MSRP for about nine dollars so definitely for two packs and some not so useful stuff you know it's not great currently my thought is I think that this is kind of like a nice little treat for, you know, if you do have kids or something or you're running some kind of events and you want to have like a little prize, maybe these things are pretty good. You know, not too expensive, but it's like an official product. And all right, here's all five open. Let's get into it. Let's see what kind of coin. Ooh, sword and shield. Okay. It looks like a guard chomp coin and most likely it's going to be all the same coin. Ooh, evolutions. All right, evolution not so good, but you know what? Sword and shield, which makes sense. If the Galar tins not feature the any of the new sets, that would be very disappointing. So overall, I would rate this product, you know, not great, but I uh, kind of envisioning like if anyone has kids and oh, you know what this person did good on X Y Z thing and want to give them a little something, maybe this is a nice, good for that occasion, kind of like that. And all right, but let's see how we do with our own packs, starting with five evolutions. If we whiff on all these, not the end of the world, as long as we get something with those sword and shield packs. Be fine with that. Definitely not as... Actually, to be honest, I don't remember what the first one had. If it had a standard pack and then Burning Shadows. I just remember the Burning Shadows was the highlight for myself. The second one was just terrible. I don't remember it was in that one, but I remember being very almost like uh, disappointed in that one after I did kind of like the first the first wave. All right, let's see how we do. Charmander, Diglett, a Sandshrew is a reverse. Okay, Gyarados, not too bad. All right, let's get some kind of Mega. Cool to find a textured uh, Charizard or Blastoise. Ah, some of the original arts. And a Doug Trio. Okay, last evolution pack before we get to the real stuff of Sword and Shield. Uh, 
are you? Tangela, Rattata, Weedle. Oh, I forgot about the breaks. We got a Starmie break. And then just a Raticate. Alright, now on to the Sword and Shield. This is the main event for this opening. And uh, if you have a better name for what we could call this series versus good, a goodbye or pass, let me know in a comment down below. Rookity, and then a just a regular Cramorant. Four packs remaining. Drizzle, not bad card. Snow, Mobile. Gossifleur, ooh, all right. Primate Wisdom Oranguru, it's always a solid one-off into any deck. Ooh, and uh, something didn't go right here. Metal Saucer, nice. Small Wild Gossifleur. Or Beetle is our reverse. And okay, we did get one Ultra Rare and a Wobbuffet. Let's get one Texture Card. Maybe we can get that uh, last pack magic like we got for that team up, tag team, power collection, whatever it was. Yeah, not too bad. Crushing hammer, same. Who toot a bell toy? And then another orb beetle. Someone wants us to run orb beetle. Alright guys, last pack. Let's get something good, something to turn this into a nice opening but to kind of summarize don't think this is that great of a product nice that it does come with that one of sword and shield pack but other than you know a little prize for something or I don't know something for the kids don't think this is a very good one the I guess the picture is kind of cute the tins are kind of useful but I think for you only need one of them by the way you can kind of remove this thing to reveal the rest of the picture if you care but uh yeah that's gonna be it for me today guys as always thanks for watching i'm wanna turtle i'll catch you guys next time